Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. should say I'm sorry because I know that I'm sorry is not good enough and you deserve way more than some just I'm sorry from me especially over the phone but I tried to stop by your work and you weren't there today I tried to stop by your house but your parents said that you weren't home and I guess I've just been trying to give you your space but Nonetheless, I am sorry, and you do deserve an apology from me. I know that I said a lot of messed up things, and I know that I act in ways that aren't rational when I'm upset, and you don't deserve to have to deal with that, so. I wish that I was someone who could just handle their emotions better when they feel anything, really, when they feel anger or sadness or jealousy. I wish that I didn't make you and so many other people my target, I guess, but... I don't know. You deserve better than someone who just apologizes in ways that sound like excuses. But I promise I'm not trying to make an excuse out of any of my actions or anything like that. I'm just, I don't know what I'm saying. I guess I'm rambling, but. You did nothing but treat me good. And if things didn't go right, it was because of me. I really mean that. If, if there's any guilt here or any blame or anything it's because of me you you were like the best thing that i had so i really fucked up i'm not selfish enough to sit here and want to keep you if i know that i can't treat you right so I guess that's what I meant when I said that you should just go find someone else. It wasn't because I didn't care or anything like that. It was because I care about you so much and I have so much work to do on myself that I would just be bringing you down if I tried to hold on to you, I guess, while I need to do all this work. And you don't really deserve to be with someone like me. Like I said, you deserve to be with someone who knows how to handle their emotions, someone who knows when to stop, when to take a break, when to walk away for a little bit. Someone who chooses their words wisely or just at least refrains from staying all the dumb shit that I said. And I didn't mean any of, the, of it either, so I... <sighs> just an idiot, so... I don't blame you for everything that you called me, you know, like telling me I'm toxic or I need help and all that stuff. I do. And that's why I'm, that's why I try to let you go because I don't want you to suffer through all my unhealthy behaviors and my coping mechanisms. Like you're not my therapist, you know, I don't want to make a therapist out of you. And I don't want to make you a target either. I don't, I don't want that for you. I want what's best for you. And like, I really, really wish that it was me, but it's just not, it's not right now. And you're such a good person that I know that you would want to stay by my side until I got to that point, but I can't have you do that for me. That would be a sacrifice. And your happiness and your mental health and 
your well-being are important to me. And if I'm putting you in any kind of danger or harm with being how I am, then I can't. I... I want you to know that I do love you. You've been my best friend for a really long time. But also sometimes you have to just let your best friend go because you're not being the best for them. I don't know. Maybe one day we'll get to cross paths again when I'm in a better place. Maybe you'll be in a better place too. Or maybe we can come back together, but if not, I just want you to find happiness and I don't want you to wait for me. I don't want you to put your life on hold for me. I don't want you to surrender everything just for me. And I mean that. I love you so much. you.